Hi to Chaco. I feel like it's gonna be Tojara. Why do we never see fairy dragons first and that? Because um Summoning is complete. They get wrapped and killed, maybe too easily. Akinos, this Akinos. Here we have a Death Knight, Lord Death Storm. Here comes the Blade Master. Graveyard is going up the Death Knight against Grunt. This guy is still alive. Okay. This guy is still alive as well. The Blade Master just uh, he wants to kill his acolytes. Does he get any kills? He's going for the ghoul now. Beautiful early game. Of course, you have to play like this as an orc, else you just lose the game. We've seen this so often when uh, when an orc tries to creep on this map when there's close position, and they just get owned by like one fiend and uh, death knight with skeletons that just kills his first burrow or second burrow or all the burrows, and the orc just GGs out. And so uh, I do like this play here by Pinga, but it seems like uh, one. 20 went for a very late fiend. He still doesn't have a fiend. He's, he's been uh, attacking faster recently against orc. The skeleton does survive. 26 hit points. Death Knight and the skeletons uh, creeping this turtle. Easy peasy. Easy. PG, he gets XP with the coil. Doesn't want the grunt to steal it. Mantle of intelligence, of course, gonna be huge for the Lich in a moment. Uh, Blade Master on his way back. He sold his TP, bought a circlet. He is so strong now, but he's still 0 XP. Does he get the turtle? He gets a turtle. 20 XP now goes to the Death Knight. The grunt, though, in a bit of danger. The Blade Master goes for a skeleton, decides to go for the fiend instead, uses his sword at the fiend. The fiend runs for his life. He's still alive. He is, uh, well, he's undead, technically. I'm not sure, are the fiends alive or undead? I don't understand, because they do take coils. Maybe they're just, uh, they were alive, but they got, uh, they got, uh, corrupted by the Scourge. So they're somewhere in between, uh, being alive and being undead. With two fiends. Hi all, have a nice stream and evening. Hey Kevin Schwem, welcome back. Sleep her Another fiend. Okay, Blade Master and the Grunts killing this turtle easy peasy. Our forces are under attack. The sleep awakes. Hopefully they won't creep the entire map now. Close position to the rock. Oh, there comes Pinga. Pinga doesn't like to creep. He's on his way. He has level one Blade Master now. He's like, okay, I crept enough. But Blade Master is level one now. I can't win now. This is the time. This is the moment. Death Knight already on his way to, uh, you know, level two and a half. Cla Claws of Attack, also nice for the Lich. The Lich is going to be super duper happy. Look at look at the smile on the Lich, even in the altar. It's like, uh, it. Uh, yeah, he looks more happy than normal. Certainly looks more happy. What did he get here? The ring of protection. That's not very good. That's why the Death Knight is looking a bit grim because he realizes, you know, he doesn't have all the presents he wanted for the Lich. The Lich is still going to be happy, but the Death Knight wanted to give more. He's a giver. These, uh, these fiends running for their lives. Oh, Shadow Hunter. Oh, Shadow Hunter. We have to TP here. He moves his fiends back. But he didn't lose too much. I've seen uh, so many undead players. Even on 120, even not man, usually not happy, but they like 120, Lucifer, you know, other top and dead players lose the game, lose too much there, and lose the game because of it. But when you just TP, you're just safe and you win the game in the long run. What's this fiend doing? Sure, it costs the TP, Research but now you have Burrow. Research complete. This is uh, the point where I feel like. Uh, you know, what can you do? 
What can you do? You cannot leave the base because you cannot win a fight. The orc he has hacks, he has raiders. You have to wait for that uh, orb of corruption. I think this is why he's been attacking so fast. He's getting Slaughterhouse Temple of the Damned. We see Pinga going for these turtles. 120. Is he uh, he's going out for a fight? Is this really smart? Better bring your ghouls if you go out for a fight now. He has three ghouls. Does he need to lumber that much? Well, this fiend here uh, is dead. We do have Spirit Walkers, by the way, for... Uh, oh, interesting. Pink is staying tier 2. Spirit Walkers. This makes his tier 2 army even more powerful and more strong and insanely hard to fight for uh, 120. 120 maybe just should, should stay in his base. Just wait till the orb. Maybe even wait till you have 50 supply. Oh, he kills a grunt. Wow. <laughs> kills a grunt. Baby seal. Gets frost armor. Uh, and a coil. Oh, this spirit walker also under attack. Pinga. Come on, you can't do this. Pinga, why is it, why are his grunts not just attacking this fiend? You know, just only have your blade mass to kill this fiend. Uh, he gets the fiend, but sure. Okay, now let's go for it. Oh, better kill this uh, guy. Uh, 120. Almost kills it. But at least the statue won't take any more magic damage from this evil spirit walker that does so much damage. He brings out his ghouls. And uh, those ghouls are amazing. There, the grunt goes down. The statue goes down. And this grunt will probably also d go down. Blade Master is doing just fine. He has wind walk mana, of course. Uh, the Lich has mana for more frost armors. Oh, is he going to try to surround the Shadowhunter? No. I mean, 120 did way better here than I expected. Of course, it's because he eventually pulled out those ghoul uh, ghouls like I suggested. But now he can buy this orb. And now 120 can win the game. He still wants to kill this grunt, but he doesn't have mana. The Death Knight gets hacks. All these units... Oh! Kill the... <laughs> sure. Kills a grunt and a raider. This is just GG. I think Pinga can just GG out now. He is playing... He's stacking super late. He was banking on winning winning the game here, pretty much. But he didn't. We have a level 3 Death Knight now. He lost so much that he shouldn't have lost. Uh, Skull of the Beast. And he's gonna buy the orb now with the Death Knight. And uh, it's beautiful. Lich is gonna creep. Banshees. Cool. Can he fight here though? We have the orb on the lich. He has a tome of IQ plus two. He could pick it up for even more damage and more frost of us. He frost of us a raider. Statue here is dead. Uh, and well, these raiders are going down with raiders and spirit walkers. Very nice against the banshees and the statues. Not so nice, of course, against the fiends. The fiends uh, have to be killed by the blade master. The, there goes another banshee. There's another uh, raider uh, ensnaring the statue. The raider survives. But the spirit walkers, will they survive? This one dies to a coil if he uses it. There is a coil. Piggy Banshee does go down. This one can also be killed. Easy peasy does go down. All the spirit walkers are down. The, the fiends are burrowing. And like I said, like all the statues and the banshees have been killed. But we have fiends. Still fiends al uh, left alive here for 120. Doesn't have a third hero yet. I assume he's going to, uh, going to buy one soon. There's another statue. Look at these raiders, super low on hit points. Two of them. He has four raiders at this point. Um, he's getting a Kodo and more spirit walkers. Okay, he keeps, keeps uh, going for a fighting army. I figured like, this is kind of base race right? Four raiders, just get pillage, attack his base. Just do that a few times. Get your value out of your uh, raiders. Try to, at least. Because all they're good at is uh, killing banshees. Statues. Ah, it's alright, I guess. Okay, he's going for the banshee. Banshee doesn't have false armor, but statue has there is his pit lord. But the raiders. Oh, he dispels the half terror as soon as it's cast. 
beautiful timing here on this uh, Spirit Walker showing up and dispelling that. There's another healing wave. I'm not sure why he went for the Pit Lord, by the way, if he's playing against those uh, Spirit Walkers. But on the other hand, the, uh, the spells of the, the Dark Ranger can also be dispelled. The Kodo eats a fiend, so tasty, but the, the Kodo takes some damage. He gets speed called out. Lich is very low on hit points. Don't have mana to save him. He goes down. Um, and there's another half terror. The bait master is cursed and half terrored, so it doesn't do a lot of damage. He's also only level two. The statue is, is micro away. Also, he has frost armor, so the blade master does minimal damage. He is like uh, he's like a grunt at this point. Lich is bought back here once you have the gold, 500 ten gold. There's the lich, and the ancient evil survives. The blade master is being baited by a statue, and he hits it, but now he's frosted, slowed. So it will take some time for him to come back. This will give uh, 120 the time to get this potion of greater mana. The Dakota still has a fiend in his belly. So we have vision here for uh, 120. Going for the super item. Same here at the other side of the map. Why does he not pick up the Tome of IQ? If he picked up the Tome with the Lich much earlier, picks it up now with the Death Knight. But if he picked it up with the Lich much earlier, he would have won the game a long time ago. Just that extra damage, that extra mana. It just, you know, it changes so much. Picked it up now with the Death Knight, so he has the extra mana now. What item do we get here? Oh, the wow, Warsong Battle Drums. Probably the second best. Or third best. Third best. Cloak of Flames is uh meh. It's a bit meh. Fancy as yes, Michael back beautifully. This is definitely much better than the Cloak of Flames. Blade Master is finally level three. No more useless level two Blade Master. He has level one crit though. Level two windwalk. Shadowhunter level three. Where's the third hero? There he is. Look at the TCs. He's uh, about to be born. Death Knight is level 4. And as I was talking about last game, where is the Death Pact? He picks level 2 in Holy Aura. Kills the turtle. Another potion of greater mana. So many potions of greater mana. That's so powerful. Kills the turtle. Goes for this item. This also has a pretty good item. Meanwhile, over here we get. Uh, Ring of Regeneration. Not the best. Our forces are under attack. Yes, two headhunters is go going berserkers. I assume he does. Yes, there's a berserker upgrade. It's a 50 supply, so it's uh 120. And 120 does he get the flute? If he gets the flute, it's already GG. He gets the flute! Oh! Oh, oh. oh. Tome of Knowledge. Tome of Knowledge. Maybe there, he picks it up and he TPs home. There's no chance here for Pinga, hello. These fiends do plus six damage. The Lich here does plus 22 damage. There's half there, the Blade Master does minus four damage. Uh, not now that it's dispelled, but sure, it, he did for a second. Shadowhunter is uh, low on hit points. He has to heal himself. These uh, Spirit Walkers, very low on hit points. Uh, there's no one that kills him. That means the healing wave uh, heals him back up to full. There's one raider trying to kill banshees, but by himself it just takes too long. The healing is just out healing the raider and the curses, making sure that the raider doesn't even do that much damage. There's a coil on the fiend. The Kodo eats the fiends. That's that's nice. That's tasty. There's another half terror. Dispel used there at the blade master, but the the TC is still cursed and uh, half terrored, so he does a very little damage. This uh, Shadow Hunter is in danger. There's Coil, there's no mana for Nova. Oh, there is mana. He has a greater mana potion and he could eat a unit. He's level four now. Um, maybe he should have used uh, their mana potion. Nova, hello. Could have killed the Kodo easily. And uh, maybe the TC could have been killed. There's a healing wave. Gah, gah. Ah, Death Knight is level 4.3 or so, so 4.4 uh, now. Gets a parry up. A lot of hit points, there's no way uh, Mr. Orc can fight here. He doesn't have enough Berserkers to fight the range uh, fight. He's still the one with the more melee units. 
Uh, Pitlord here is being ensnared, trying to kill him. There's no, uh, no destroyer guy, but there is a coil, a level two coil for the Dreadlord, but, uh, Pitlord, but it might not be enough. There's not a half terror. Where's a, uh, he does have false armor. It's beautiful dispel there on uh, someone. The uh, Pitlord is still alive. He's just uh, not dying. We have more coils. We have plenty more coils. He still has a potion of greater mana as well. Kodo is finally uh, dead. That's 20% damage of, uh, gone for the Orc army. This Phoenix might go away. The These Banshees are beautiful. GG.